Hello from El Paso, Texas. I am here about to cross the US-Mexico border over to Ciudad Juarez. So I'm gonna be going across a small bridge here and uh, passing through over to the Mexican side of the Rio Grande River. So we're walking through a large covered area. I have a feeling this is where people stand in a massive line to get in when things get busy. But it is Sunday, so nobody's out. But it is nice, they put up these shades to help the unfortunate people who have to wait here. You can see on the other side of this fence here, a very long line of cars trying to get back into the United States here. So there was just a small attendant behind me um, and I paid her 50 cents. So it can be about 10 pesos, so 20 pesos to a dollar, so 50 cents US. And uh, that's all you do and now you're going over to Mexico. You can see on the other side here, there is a big line of people wanting to go back into the United States over this way. Got a US highway to my right. Some railway here, so technically still in the United States in terms of the land. But we can see a fence up here and that's where I'm gonna be crossing officially over the border. So now we are crossing, you can see through here. This is the Rio Grande River. And on this side from the United States, we're coming over to this side, Mexico. Y ahora ya estamos en Mexico. We are in Mexico. I have crossed the line and uh, the language has changed. So bienvenidos, estamos aquí en Mexico. Just passed through the immigration. They had a small check of my baggage, my backpack, but we are here. Ya estamos in Mexico. And behind me, we have the Mexican colors. You can see this beautiful wall. Um, so really excited to be here. Really excited to show you a bit of Ciudad Juarez and a bit of Mexico. definitely a pretty big vibe change as soon as you get over the border here into Mexico, but um, really awesome to be here. And so the first place I'm going is called the uh, world famous Kentucky Bar and Grill. The world famous they put on, I don't know how, how famous this place is, but um, they claim that they invented the margarita. So we will try it and we'll see. And there's a few stories around the invention of the margarita, but perhaps they made it here, um, but let's check it out. Okay, this is the original margarita here. So I ordered the Mexican plate. It comes with chips and salsa, of course. But this plate's got a little bit of everything. So we've got some guacamole, we've got our taco. Um, I believe this is like a chili relleno, relleno, so I'm not quite sure. Yeah, I think it's a green chili that's fried. So really excited to eat this. We'll start here with the taco. Very good. Muy rico. As we've got some bad bunny playing, we'll, we'll try it. It's good. It's nice. Quite a lot of salt on the rim. Let's give it another. It's very good. Very good margarita. I bought some pesos. I got some right here. And I am off to my next destination, which is the home of a famous Mexican singer. We'll be talking more about his legacy when we get there. I am outside the Casa de Juan Gabriel. He is a very famous Mexican singer. 
They called him Horanga or El Divo de Juarez. Um, as a singer, he was very popular in the 70s and 80s. He died recently in 2016, and um, he is known for his very flamboyant style with his music and just being very out there, pushing, bar pushing barriers in Latin American music um, and Latin American performance. He was also an actor. So behind me is his home. We can't go in. Um, I'm not sure if it's a real home or kind of a museum, but it's some, somewhere you don't typically go inside, so maybe under special circumstances. But outside, there are a lot of different memorials dedicated to him, and they've made it into a really nice area. So if you're a big fan, you can come here and see this area and pay tribute to Juan Gabriel. this Ciudad Juarez, it's numero uno. Ciudad Juarez is the number one. Y la frontera donde debe vivir Dios. Arriba Juarez. Juan Gabriel. I'm still a little bit hungry, so I decided to get a second lunch. I'm coming to this flauta place. So flautas are like a tortilla with meat inside and then they're deep fried. I've come to a flauta place which is basically like somebody's home. It's been turned into a restaurant and it is famous here in Juarez. So I'm going to eat some very delicious flautas with some different salsas. I'm really excited. trying uh, Mexican flautas. So these are basically um, meat rolled up into a tortilla that is then deep fried. So it's quite hot, a lot of hot oil on it. But it almost reminds me of like a tortilla chip with meat inside. So we've got this kind of white cream here and this guacamole cream to dip them in. So let's see. Mm. Muy bien. I am walking down one of the main avenues in Ciudad Juarez now. Very nice bike path here in the middle, which is really nice to walk on. Um, I'm going to an area where, uh, the, the, sort of where they have the major park of the city, and there's a museum over there, a lot of greenery, it looks really nice. Um, well, I'll show you when I get there, of course. But what I think is so interesting is just that way. You see it, that's in El Paso. So I was there the other night and it's just really crazy that, you know, I've been walking around El Paso the past few days on the other side of that border. And then now here I am on the Mexican side. I have finally made it to the park. Part of it was under construction, so I'm in the open part now. Um, but there are a lot of people here. Everyone is having their own little party. Um, a couple things about Mexican culture. They're really good at barbecuing. They know how to have like the perfect Sunday afternoon backyard or park barbecue. The second thing is they go all out on kids' birthday parties. 
And so like, if you're a Mexican parent and your kids are having a birthday party, if you don't have like a bouncy castle, you know, uh, a, a DJ, all these other things, if you don't go all out, like you're a bad parent. And so yeah, Mexican kid birthday parties, they go all out. And so we're seeing all of them around here. Definitely like more memorable than any birthday party I had growing up as an American kid. The other funny thing about Mexican birthday parties is like, yes, the kids are there and it's kind of for the kids, but it's really for the adults. And so like your whole extended family is invited. All of your aunts, uncles, cousins that are older than you are all there and they're having a good time. And the second thing for young boys, it might be for young girls, I'm not exactly sure, but it's a tradition that when they go to blow the candles out, one of the parents, usually the dad, will push their face into the cake. And I don't know if they do it so much anymore, but it's definitely a funny Mexican tradition that I think the kids really don't like. But again, I think these parties are really for the adults. The kids are just the excuse to have them. Uh, por favor, porchada. Y una chica, por favor. Chica? Sí. got myself a horchata so um, here in the park they are selling all sorts of drinks call them aguas frescas or fresh waters literal translation but it means different sort of drinks you can have like kind of like mango water ones like cappuccino chocolate um, this one is of course horchata which is made from rice and sweetened with sweetened condensed milk so I am having that uh, walking around and just enjoying myself So I think the first question anyone's gonna ask when you are in Ciudad Juarez is like, oh my God, wow, is it safe? Um, and you know, I think it's a lot like everywhere else in the world. Of course, there are unsafe areas anywhere, but I've traveled to different countries like Iraq, Afghanistan, Somalia. I uh, never really felt unsafe in any of those and I don't feel unsafe here. You can see I'm, I'm at a park. There are lots of people around, there are kids. People aren't dying getting shot or you know we're, we're we're literally chilling I'm chilling I'm I'm drinking horchata I'm in the park there's like a concert going on over here and I'm just chilling I tell you you got to come to these places places like Ciudad Juarez don't listen to what they say in the media of course always be smart know where you're going but um, there's so much to this world and I think people are so afraid to travel um, to a place like Ciudad Juarez, but there's really a lot here and a lot of culture to experience. And um, I think it's just a very beautiful place. I'm very happy to be here. I've come to this Monumento a Juarez, like this uh, large, I don't know what it is, kind of abstract uh, monument here for Juarez. But one cool thing, around the edges they have uh, different markers for each of the states in Mexico. So it's actually not for the city of Juarez, it's for Benito Juarez. He was Mexico's 
I'm, I'm not sure what number, but he was Mexico's president in the 1850s. And what's significant about him is he was the first Mexican president of indigenous origin. I'm here at my final destination, the Cathedral de Juarez. You can see up there. The largest church in the city here, very old. And we're gonna go inside and check it out in the center of town. restaurants here in Ciudad Juarez. It's been around since 1958 and um, it's it's kind of right in the center of town, like right where the Sunday market is, the main walking street. Um, and so really excited to try the Mexican food here and compare it to what we have on the other side of the border in El Paso back in the United States. We have got our Tacos al Pastor. Very excited to eat these. They look amazing. So with your taco, you gotta put a little of the onion, a little cilantro on it. I'm gonna put a little bit of both of these salsas here. So a little bit of my avocado and the red one, of course. Give it a little heat. Quite a bit. Ooh, this is hot. Okay, let's do it. Mmm. Mmm. So good. Amazing flavor. And this is actually hot, so that's nice. Yes, wow. Mm. I love it here. It's worth it to come over just for the food. We of course finish it with one of my favorite Mexican foods, the flan. So flan is basically like an egg custard with sugar, you know, sometimes some different flavorings on top. Uh, but it's made from primarily egg and cream. And so I make this a lot at home. I really like it, but let's try uh, flan in Ciudad Juarez. Mm. 
It was a good flan. The right amount of sweetness, kind of that caramel flavor as well, but it's almost like a burnt caramel. I really like that. Well, it's getting late. The sun is going down. It's about 7.30. And I am looking forward to, after a long day of getting home and taking a little rest. So I am leaving Ciudad Juarez now. I'm on the main drag here, which is of course quite quiet because it is a Sunday evening. Everyone's at home. Um, there are still some people out, but I'm walking now to the land bridge and I'm gonna cross back into downtown El Paso and then make my way to my hotel for the evening. Just passed through the Mexican immigration, which is really nothing. You just have to pay the, I think this way it was only five pesos. So it's slightly less going from Mexico to the US, but just paid the small fee and crossing the bridge now. We'll see what happens on the US side. Well, I just passed through the border and I got selected randomly, of course. I don't think it was random, but um, they were asking me, oh, is this like the first, you know, first time you ever crossed the border? I said, yeah, like the land border first time ever. And then they were like, okay, you've been selected. So I had to go back into a room and they um, wanted me to take all my stuff out of my pockets, patted me down to make sure I didn't have anything. Um, looked through a couple of my things. I explained, you know, I'm traveling all over the world and I've been to, uh, 147 countries was my most recent um, and I think after that they were they were pretty cool with what I was doing but I think the biggest concern uh, was was how much money I had they asked me like four or five times um, you know that I don't have more than ten thousand dollars or that I um, you know and I told them like you know same story I've got maybe less than two hundred dollars in my wallet um, just a little cash in case I need it for an emergency credit cards don't work um, but yeah, I'm back in the United States, back on the El Paso side. Um, pretty tired after a very long day, but um, excited to get to bed. I've had a great time in Mexico, and um, I am happy to show you that Ciudad Juarez is not as bad as they say. It's actually a uh, very nice place, lots of Mexican culture there, relaxing place. Um, I would say if you are in the El Paso area, definitely come across. In the media, they make it out like a horrific war zone, um, but you know, that's never true. And so I'm glad I could show you Juarez.